What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Rainbow Six Siege X Battle I launcher error fail to start battle eye service on a PC and how we can fix this app. So let me just right click it into step. First one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the battle app. To do so, just go over here in your Steam account. Now go over here on the game right click and go to manage. Click on the browse local file. Now go over here expand this. Click on the battle eye. Now we have option here uninstall the battle eye. Select this. Right click and go for run as administrated and go for yes. Now the battle eye is uninstalled and we have to reinstall it back. So to do so there is an option called install battle eye. But click on this one and click on run as administrated and go for yes. Now the battle eye is installed back and you have to check with the key. Or you can move to the step 2 that is uninstall the battle eye and launch the key. During the launch, the battle eye will be reinstalled back. To do so, just go over here right click on the game. Sorry, right click over here, go to manage, browse, local file. Now go to battle eye folder. Now go over here right click and go to uninstall. You have to run it as an administrator. After uninstalling the battle eye, go over here and launch the game. While game is launched, it will be installed back and you have to check. Next step is all about, we need to verify the game file. So go over here in the game, right click and go to properties, install that file and verify the game file. This will take a little bit of time, but even though if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, which is the reason why these issues are happening. So that's kind of issues will be completely fixed by this. So you can try this step as well. Fourth step is all about, we need to allow the game to the Windows security. Or if you are using any kind of antiviruses, third party antiviruses like Komodo, Avast, AVG, Mac MCAFE, Norton, Bitdefender, etc. Then you should be allowing the game to your antivirus program. So go over here, go to the control panel. You have to navigate to the control panel. Now go to Windows Defender Firewall. Go to allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and we have to find Rainbow Six Siege. So keep scrolling down and from here we have to find the Rainbow Six Siege. As you can see, for me I have already installed the Rainbow Six Siege. So if it is already there, just make sure that you put a check on this particular box, private and public. If you don't find it, just click on change setting. Go to allow another app, go to the browse, navigate to the game installation folder that is over here. As you can see, go to this PC, go to Lapidus E, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Scroll down and navigate to the game installation folder and you have to add the game. For me, I have already added the game, so I can't add, add the game. But after adding the game, make sure that you put a check on this box, private and public. Then close this and you have to launch the game. Next one, we need to update the windows and restart your PC. So just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, windows update, just update your windows. After windows is up to date, you have to close this and you have to check with the game. Next sure one, uninstall the game and you have to delete the game and we have to restart the PC. Then you have to reinstall it back and you have to try it on a new SSD. So go over here, right click on the game, go to manage uninstall the game. Now we have to reinstall it back. While you reinstall it back, it should be installed back on the game in which you have already installed. You have to try either B or C and you have to check. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.